Recent events have highlighted a complex and often contentious interplay in the delicate tapestry of American politics and immigration. The fight between Democratic and Republican governors over how to handle illegal immigrants has sparked intense debates and revealed the complexities of immigration policies and their impact on different states and areas. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today's video is about Elon Musk just exposed what Gavin Newsom desperately tried to hide. Before we start the video, please like subscribe and press the bell icon. There's been a lot of talk lately regarding California Governor Gavin Newsom. People are staring at him with suspicion because some believe he is acting hypocritically. The uproar began when he was observed dining at an elite restaurant without a mask during a time when many people were expected to adhere to tight COVID-19 requirements. But the story is more than just mask wearing. Hillary Clinton, a well-known political figure, made a few problematic utterances. She spoke on deprogramming those who support the Make America Great Again movement. Maybe there should be a formal deprogramming of cult members at some point. This statement offended many individuals since it looked to portray a whole group of people as radicals who needed to be reformed in some way. Naturally, this caused a lot of debate and raised concerns about the nation's unity. Todd Stones, a talk radio presenter, has reservations about Republican supporters. He drew parallels between their acts and those of Joseph Stalin, a historical figure known for harsh and totalitarian techniques. This means that Todd Stones is essentially arguing that some activities or attitudes of Republican supporters remind him of how Stalin, a former tyrant, worked. It's a forceful statement, implying that he believes something wrong is happening. Both Hillary Clinton's and Todd Stone's comments have sparked a controversy. People are debating the level of political division in the United States. They're talking about how divisive and divided the country has become. Because of political differences, it's a hot topic these days, with political splits and disagreements appearing to be more visible than ever. Some fear that forceful statements from political officials and intellectuals such as Clinton and Stones exacerbate the problem. Representative Steve Scalise is a well-known politician in Washington, D.C., and he is currently in the spotlight. He is one of the leading candidates for the job of Speaker of the House, which is vital in American politics. Incredibly, Scalise wants to reassure the public that he is still qualified for the job. Despite his health problems, he has been fighting blood cancer. Steve Scalise has been through some difficult moments in the past, most notably when he and several Republican members of Congress were targeted in a shooting. He has expressed his gratitude for all of the help he received during that difficult time. This is where things begin to get interesting. Former President Donald Trump has endorsed Representative Jim Jordan of Ohio in his attempt to succeed House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. This conduct reveals something about Trump's preferences. It seems that Trump enjoys aiding those who support him. In politics, loyalty to a leader is essential, and Trump appears to value it when picking individuals for crucial positions. This situation emphasizes the rivalry for a critical role in Congress, Steve Scalise's tenacity in the face of health challenges, and Donald Trump's influence in promoting someone he believes is devoted to his cause. In the spotlight is a blend of political forces and personal power. The Speaker of the House, an essential office in the United States Congress, is now the topic of significant debate. Various people have varied thoughts about who the best candidate for this critical role would be. Former President Donald Trump, as well as two current representatives, Jim Jordan of Ohio and Steve Scalise, have been named. Each of these individuals has a distinct set of supporters and characteristics that set them apart as potential candidates for this post. The choice of who becomes Speaker of the House is significant because it affects how things are conducted in Congress and what sorts of policies are proposed. Donald Trump has launched a lawsuit in an attempt to cleanse his name of the allegations brought against him in connection with the January 6th events. He says that because he was president at the time and what he did was part of his official duties, he is immune from these accusations. Trump's legal team is effectively asserting that the claims against him are false because he was performing his job as president, addressing concerns about the election's legitimacy. It all comes down to whether his conduct that day may be considered incitement to violence, which is a contentious issue. This case has far-reaching implications beyond Donald Trump. It pushes the limits of what an elected president may and cannot be accused of. 
It is crucial because it impacts the very foundations of American legal and political institutions. When we say something is past the statute of limitations, we mean it in this sense. It can only be considered if more time has passed. Nonetheless, the judge changed their original judgments. Initially, the judge ordered that all of Trump's businesses be seized and liquidated as part of the prosecution. It was an audacious move. The judge has recently changed his mind and is taking a more moderate approach. In other words, even if some of the evidence against Trump is too old to be considered legally, the prosecution against him in New York is still ongoing. Instead of taking away Trump's businesses, the judges changed their minds and opted to address the situation in a less punitive manner. This is part of the legal system, as is how rulings may change as cases go. There has been much back and forth between Republican and Democratic governors about how to deal with illegal immigrants. Democrats, in particular, have been vocal in their condemnation of governors such as Greg Abbott in Texas and Ron DeSantis in Florida, accusing them of relocating unauthorized refugees. Residents go to sites known as sanctuaries. These areas have local government prohibitions on cooperating with federal immigration enforcement. According to Democrats, the Republican governor's action stresses these cities and is politically motivated. California has been secretly flying thousands of illegal immigrants from California to New York instead of transporting them by bus. This is being done to solve California's own homelessness and other issues. Welfare systems are overburdened. This information raises several serious concerns. Why was California acting in such secrecy? It brings into question how immigration-related matters are handled fairly. While one state deports immigrants, another accepts them to solve its problems. This highlights the sensitive nature and complexity of immigration issues in the United States, which frequently include multiple states and regions with varying agendas and policies. The current situation has raised concerns about dealing with these issues while protecting everyone's rights and needs. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.